Hello, Christian. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. And you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. How was your day today? Uh, very busy. Because uh -huh. I had to do some homeworks. Oh, really? University task? No, uh, English task, but from another course. Oh, that's very interesting. And what about this first? Did you finish the platform in the final exam? Yes, I finished. I think yesterday I finished it. Oh, great. So I can see that some of your classmates have been working the whole afternoon on the platform. Oh, yes. Um, I forgot, but um, someone sent me a message from Inglés Corporativo. Send you what? A message that I have to finish the platform. Ah, oh, well, to your yes. personal WhatsApp? Yes. Oh, great. I guess in a, it is an automatic message, right? That everyone received just to inform that they have to complete the platform. Yes, please. Okay, we're going to wait uh, we're going to start sorry with tonight class. In this class, we're going to have a review of some of the topic that we have been studying during this uh, English course. So Edwin is coming. Hello, Edwin. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm pretty good, teacher. That sounds good. So today is Friday. Today is Friday. Are you working tomorrow? No. No? I don't have to work. Okay, that's great. So you are going to rest, you're going to stay at home and spend time with your family. That's pretty good. And Clisia, are you going to work tomorrow? No, so I just... Work. No? Did you ask to me? Okay. Okay, Ulysse is coming, Christina too. We are going to start in a minute. So do you have any comment about this English course? Do you have any comment, Christian, Edwin? Before to start the class. What was it? Was it difficult? Was it interesting? Was it boring? How was it? I think it's it's good. It's the way that you teach is very like no bored, just like no sé cómo se dice entretenida. Entertaining? Yes. Oh, okay. But it's good. Okay, thank you so much, Christian. Hello, Christina and Eulisa. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine, thanks, teacher. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Eulisa is good. So welcome to the class. How was your day? 
my day was great, but now I, I'm, I'm going to driving. Oh, you are driving. Okay, Ulysses, yes, yes. be careful. Be okay. careful while driving. Yes, right now. So I hear you, only hear you. Okay, uh -huh. yes, you are going to hear, you just are going to hear the class. Okay, that's great. So let's start with this class today. We have a final short review. And we're going to have a review of some of the topics that we have been studying during this night. So here we go. Let's start with it. I am sharing with you my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Christian. So welcome to the class 16. Right tonight is our last class. I hope that you have already finished the exercises on the platform and also the final exam. Or do you still have a question about that? Do you have any question, any doubt about the final exam? Or the last section? Questions? No question about the platform. Okay, then let's start with this class. Here we go. Uh, this is the lesson of the tier. And in this section, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final T and D sound invert with the vowel that follow. Oh, this is the last objective, right, on the platform. So let's start. Do you remember this part? Pronunciation, right? In English, linking sounds are very common. Uh, let's see. They uh, used to pronounce together, right? The sound words. And this is an example. So let's see this. Listen and practice final T and these sounds in birth are, are linking to the vowels that follow them. So in this case, they use to, uh, let's see, they join the sounds. They also los pronuncian, but at seguiditos. Yes, I have already cooked it. Yes, I tried it once in my jam. So they pronounce, right, together this sound. They link sound. Let's listen to this example. Take a second. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Okay, we listen. Cooked it. Cooked it. Tried it. Cooked it. Tried it. Haven't you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in my jam. So do you want to try? Who wants to try pronouncing this linking sound? Any volunteer? Who wants, who wants to try? Try to pronounce this linking the sound with the vowel in the next word. Any volunteer? If no volunteers, I'm gonna choose somebody. Let's start with Edwin. Can you tell me, please? Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I already cooked. Okay, excellent, thank you. Let's go with Tricia. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried that once in Miami. Excellent. So cooked it and tried it. Let's go with, uh, let's see, Ulise. Can you tell me what the first one? Have you cooked lunch yet? Hey, Ulise, have you cooked lunch yet? Then let's go with, let's see, anybody? Christina, can you tell me answering this question? Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked. 
Cook it. How is the pronunciation? Cook it. Cook it. Okay, excellent. They are uh, linking the sound. The final sound of the word cook and the vowel at the beginning of the word cook it. Cook it. Okay. Let's go with the second one, Cristina. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried once in Miami. Okay, very good. Now let's try to pronounce this link in the sound. The final D sound of the word right with the it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it <laughs> once in Miami. Okay, great. Tried it. Yes, I tried, tried it. it once in Miami. Okay, let's listen again. Let's listen again this example. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. So cook it and try it. Listen and practice. So let's see. Try Follow the again. example. Have you ever cut your hair? Wait, wait a second. So look at this example. Uh, have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I cut it. Cut it. We are going to pronounce this link in this sound. The final T in cut and the it. And the word it, the vowel at the beginning of the word, yes, I put it. Or no, I haven't put it. Let's listen this example. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Follow. Okay, let's see. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? What is your answer? Have you ever tasted goat cheese? Queso de cabra. ¿Alguna vez lo han probado? Have you ever tasted goat cheese? And then you say... No, I haven't tasted it. Okay. No, I haven't tasted it. Taste it. No, I haven't tasted it. Okay. Let's see the next question. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I I have tried Korean food. Okay, tried it, Maria, right? Tried it, tried it. Yes, I have already tried it. Very good. Let's see the next one. Have you ever watched Harry Potter movie? Have you ever watched Harry Potter movie? Yes, I have watched it, Harry Potter movies. Okay. Watch so, it. Watch it. Watch, watch it. it. Watch okay. it. Okay, the final pronunciation of watch is a theory. Watch. Then we link in the sound with it. Watch it. And taste it. And try it. And watch it. So I need to volunteer in this part. Anyone to volunteer? Who wants to participate? Any volunteer? Me, Crisia. Thank you, Crisia. And I need another volunteer. Anybody wants? Me, teacher. And who say me? Can you tell me your name, please? I have Crisia and Erwin, teacher. And Edwin, thank you so much. So, Crisia, can you please ask the question and then Edwin is going to answer. Solo podría repetir la, la palabra antes de cheese. Goat. Goat. You, goat. Yes. Goat. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? No, I haven't tasted. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I have already tried it. Have you ever watched Harry Potter Harry Potter movies? No, I haven't watched it. 
Okay, what did? With this down, what did? What did? Thank you so much, Christian and Edwin. Excellent job. I need another two volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants, who wants to participate? Yes, two more. Two more participants. Just one. No volunteers. Okay, me let's teacher. Listen. Thank you. Who say me? Tell me your name, please. Alexis. Okay, Alexis. I have Alexis and any other volunteer? One, two, three. Me, teacher. Okay, let's start. Can you please read the question, Alexis, and then the answer, please? Okay. Have you ever tasted goat cheese? No, I haven't tasted it. Have you ever tried Korean food? Yes, I have already tried it. Have you ever watched Harry Potter movies? No, I haven't watched it. Thank you so much. Excellent job. So let's continue with this. So don't forget about this, right? And linking these sounds with the vowel sound. So I have another example here. Have you brought your dictionary today? No, I haven't brought it. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Yes, I have read it. So just to volunteer to practice in this. Two examples. Yes, two volunteers. Who wants, who wants to participate? Come on, this is the last class to participate. Anybody? Then I'm going to choose. Evelyn, can you help me please with Anna? Evelyn and Anna. Hey, Evelyn, the answer. Anna, the question. Can you? Evelyn, can you? Have you brought your dictionary today? Then, anyone need to answer? Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Okay, don't worry. I'm going to read it. No, I haven't brought it. And the next one, Evelyn. Evelyn, the next. Uh, a little B. Oh, this one, please. The question, the question, please. Okay. Have, have you... Brom. I'm sorry. Have you read the latest Harry Potter book yet? Okay. Have you read the latest latest Harry Potter book, book yet? yet? Yes, I have read it. Okay, thank you. Then what does she look like? Do you remember this question? What does she look like? Describing physical appearance, describing people's physical appearance. So what does she look like? Can you tell me some sentences describing this, describing this girl? Tell me, tell me some sentences. Let's describe her. Who wants to start? Come on. Tell me sentences describing her. She's pretty and okay. slim. Very good. I have two sentences. She's pretty and also she's slim. Any other sentence? She's pretty, she's slim. She wearing a blue jeans. Thank you. She is wearing blue jeans. Blue jeans. Sin la A. She's wearing blue jeans. Any other sentence? Yes, she, she has, has curly hair. Okay, excellent. Se pelearon por esa oración. She has curly hair. That's great. She has curly hair. Any other sentence? She is. She has. She's, ray, she's ray, riding a bike. 
Ah, okay. He is reading a bike. She's reading a bike. Sorry, riding. She's riding a bike. I'm sorry. She, she has black shoes. She has black. Black. She has black shoes. shoes. Zapatos. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. She has black shoes. Tell me, tell me, adolescent. She is slim. She's pretty. She's wearing a jeans. She has curly hair. She's riding a bike. She has black shoes. Okay, what about her height? What about her height? Sorry, is he tall, short, average height? What do you think? She is. This is the last she one. She is short. Okay, she is short. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next picture. That was what does she look like? Then you answer it. She's pretty, she's slim, she's wearing blue jeans. She has curly hair, she's riding a bike, she has black shoes, she is short. She has brown eyes. Okay, she is beautiful, she's attractive. So you can use those objectives. Let's go to the next picture here. Tell me what does he look like? Let's describe this man. Can you help me say in some sentences? Describing this man. What does he look like? He is short. <laughs> okay, excellent sentence. You say she or he. What is he? He is okay. He is short. Thank you. Excellent sentence. He is short. Any other sentence? For describing him, he has a hat. He has a hat. Thank you. He has uh, black shoes. Honey. He has black shoes too. Okay, like the girl. He has black shoes. Any other sentence? No, remember he is. He has. He is old. Okay, excellent sentence. He is old. Clean. Any other? He's sure he has had. Tell me. He's wearing uh, yellow pants. He's oh, wearing yes. yellow. I guess those are pants. He's wearing yellow pants. He has a white. He has? She has white shirt. Oh, he has a white shirt. He has a white shirt. He has a mustache. Okay, excellent. He has a mouth. Any other sentence? I have one in the chat. You see, he's a magician. How do you think so, Samuel? He's a magician. That would be a way. It says magic show. Excellent magician. Okay, great. He is a magician. He is a magician. Excellent. Thank you so much. For help me to describe the man. Let's make those notes and let's go to the next exercise. Okay, now we are going to remember the present perfect, right? And do you remember jet for scenes and already? And we are going to complete these sentences using this word. 
get 14 and already I haven't seen my egg. Since. Okay, do you think since is the right answer? The second, oh, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm gonna write the answer. Okay, you say since. The first one is since. What about the second? I haven't finished. Yet. I haven't finished yet. I have been here. For. For. Okay, it's four. a period of time that I need to work. I have been here 14 years. Number four. I have already. I have already. I have already painted my house. And number five. Uh, since. since I have had the same smartphone since 2016. Since I have been waiting my wife for a long time. For, for a long time. I haven't drunk soda for, for, for three months. Es posible dejar la soda? Is that possible? It's possible. <laughs> you say yes, it is, right? And I need a volunteer to read one, two, and three. Who wants to read those sentences? One, two, and three. Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you. Let's start, please. I haven't seen my ex since, uh, how do you pronounce? 2010. 2010, thank you. I haven't finished yet. I have been here for 10 years. Excellent, thank you. Now four, five, six, and seven, any volunteer? Nobody wants to participate in that. I, I know that it's private, but come on, let's, let's practice in this part. Thank you, can you please start? Uh, I have already painted my house. I have had the same smartphone signs 2015, I have been waiting my wife for a long time. I haven't drunk soda for three months. Okay, great, excellent. A very good job. Do you have any questions about this? No. Okay. How long haven't you drunk soda? ¿Desde hace cuánto no tomas soda? Tres meses. Three months. Lo mismo que el ejemplo, really? That's great. So let's get it here the note and let's go to the next exercise. I can see that you remember this topic very well. So write sentences in present perfect simple. On the chat, can you please write sentences? I have this information. They play football. Ellos han jugado fútbol. ¿Cómo sería esa oración? They have played football. Ok. They or they have played football. Very good. Let's see. A ver quién es el primero que lo escribe en el chat. Use the chat. Write the sentence. Anybody yet? Todavía pueden llevarse el punto. Nadie es escrito. Ah, oh, I have Christian. They have played football. Yes, Christian, you are right. They have played football. Then the second one, he speaks English. El ha hablado inglés. Tenemos que escribirlo. Yes, right on the chat. Ah, oh, okay. Write the sentence on the chat, please. Nobody has written this. He has spoken English, okay. He has, he has spoken English. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Christian. He has spoken English. 
Okay, don't forget the rules, right? A sentence in English is start with a capital letter and finish with a period. So don't forget that. So let's go with the third one. I write a poem. Okay, Christina, Christian, I have wrote a poem. Mm. That is the simple pass of the verb. I have wrote a poem. And Alexis has the right sentence. I have written a poem. Great. Let's go with the next. We no wash the car. Nosotros no hemos lavado el carro. Thank you, Chrissy. We haven't washed the car. Excellent. Excellent, Chrissy. We haven't washed the car. And the last one, Nancy, who oh, made her friend. Nancy, no se ha reunido con sus amigos. What is the right sentence? Nancy, Nancy haven't. Nancy hasn't. Okay, excellent. Nancy hasn't met her friend. No se ha podido reunir con sus amigos. Okay. Nancy hasn't met her friend. Perfect, perfect answer. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Cristina. Cristina and Alexis too. Samuel is sad too. Okay, thank you for your sentence. Puede mandar la imagen al grupo de WhatsApp. Oh, which, which, which image? ¿Cuál, Gerson? Which one? No, si sí, puede compartir esa información al grupo de WhatsApp. Oh, ok, sure. After the class, I can share with you this. No problem. Ok, now say sentence in present perfect simple. Esta no la vamos a escribir. Ya está en mi sentence. Who has the first one? They finish their homework. Who has the first one? ¿Quién tiene la primera? Just tell me. Tell me the sentence. I have the word they finish their homework. Present perfect. What is the sentence? They Can... have finished the homework. Okay, they have finished their homework. Yes. Then she visit her friend. They had finished the homework, Francisco Daniel. Excellent. Just the capital letter at the beginning and the period at the end of the sentence. And that's perfect. The second one, who has the second one? One, two, three, four. I want to pick somebody then. Let's see. Oh, I have on the chat. She has visited her friend. Yes, Francisco, that is the right answer. Let's see. Alexis, can you help me with the third one? Number three. The third one, nobody has the third one. The maid clean the house. In present perfect, ¿cómo sería esa oración? I have one answer in the chat. The maid has cleaned the house. Okay, excellent. And number four, he drive the van. Number four, who has number four? Anybody has number four?
Fatima Noemi, do you have the answer for number four? Oh, he has driven the van. Okay, he has driven the van. Thank you. And the last one, you ever write a poem. This is a question. ¿Has escrito un poema alguna vez? ¿Cómo quedaría esa oración? Tell me, or write on the chat the answer. Have you ever written a poem? Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Have you ever written a poem? That's the right sentence. Let's go with the next exercise. This is a reading. <laughs> okay, any volunteer to read the first paragraph? Okay, let's divide it. Any volunteer to read until this part? Who wants? Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Christina. Christy, Christina. Oh, Christy. Okay, Christina, do it. I'm sorry. Hasta donde? Hasta donde está el puntito rojo? Hasta acá. Okay. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommate. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Okay, excellent. Anybody wants to continue? Me, teacher. Thank you. Let's do it. Last night, I ate at the at, uh, Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner the food was delicious and i want to try a new brazilian restaurant near her okay excellent now anybody want to continue me teacher for Sorry. breakfast for breakfast the morning this morning i came to this great coffee coffee shop a grove from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet coffee. Cafe. No. An internet cafe. cafe. Internet cafe. So I I am Gmail emailing you. Emailing you no. Okay, excellent. Any other volunteer to continue? It's really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street, and there are some interesting stores too. One store sells a lot of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. Thank you. The, the last volunteer to finish. And, and my roommate told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sara. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much. Any new vocabulary in this, in this paragraph, in this reading passage? Vocabulary? Roommate. Guess what? Roommate. Guess what? Is adivina que? Okay. Eh, I moved into my new apartment yesterday. Me mudé a mi nuevo apartamento ayer. I really like my new roommate. What is a roommate? Compañero oh. de cuarto de habitación. Okay. I also like the neighborhood. What is the neighborhood? Vecindario. Okay. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night I ate at the Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. What, what is the meaning of this phrase? Around the corner. A la vuelta de la esquina, creo yo. Okay, yes. The food was delicious and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. What is the meaning of this? Cerca near de aquí. here. Cerca. Cerca. 
For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Across from, do you remember this preposition of place? What's the meaning of across from? Como enfrente. Okay, enfrente de mi apartamento. Actually, it's an internet cafe. So I'm emailing you now. Actually, what is the meaning of this word? Actually. Actualmente. Mm, en realidad. En, en realidad. realidad. En realidad. Uh, it's an internet cafe. So it is not a coffee shop. It's an internet cafe. So I'm emailing you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on your on our street, and there are some interesting stores too. What is a laundromat? Lavanderia. Okay, excellent. Lavanderia. And one store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. What is the meaning of this phrase? From all over the world. Que son de alrededor del mundo. Great thing. And my roommate told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. Just two blocks away. What's the meaning of that phrase? A dos cuadras. Excellent. A dos cuadras. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sarah. Sarah. Okay, keep in mind this reading and we're going to take a look at the final exam in case you have some doubts about it. Second. Yes, yeah, tell me. In the paragraph second of the lecture that we were emailing, what does it mean? Oh. I'm emailing you now. Emailing. Eh, te estoy enviando mensajes en este momento. I'm emailing. Gracias. Any other question? No more question. Then let's take a look at the exam. Just give me a second. Okay, here we go. What is it? Here is pre intermediate module two. Let's go with the final exam. It had five questions. Solo tenía cinco ejercicios. Was it easy or difficult? Okay. Let's start with the reading. We have already reading this part. So, Sara Ken. ¿Qué puede hacer Sara en su nuevo vecindario? What she can do? Read dancing. It. Okay, go dancing. Go shopping. Go shopping. What other activity? Same. Ay, se, no puedo teacher. Email, email. Email it. Y watch and drink clothes. And dry clothes. Watch and dry clothes. And what about read books? Can she? Eat Venezuelan food. Exercise at a gym, get a haircut, make travel arrangements, see movies, wash and dry clothes, you said. Solo estas actividades puede hacer Sara? Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, let's click on send. And yes, you were right. So 20 points of 20 points. Great. Now let's come back with the first exercise. Exercise A, it's a listening. Then it says, listen to the conversation, click the correct information. 
So I guess these are description, right? People, physical description. So let's listen to this. Listen to the conversations. Can you listen? Can you yes. Listen? Yes, okay. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red t-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. Okay, let's start with number one. What is the answer? Emily is short and in her 30s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Emily is fairly short and about 25. What's the, the last answer? one? The last one, okay, this yes. option. And the second one is Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. The second. The second one, Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Number three, the thief was short and had a white beard and was elderly. The thief had one black. The thief had on a black shirt and glasses. The thief had lunch with Mr. Brown in the cafe. What it was the, the first? One? The first one. Okay, great. And finally, AJ and Penny are sitting on the couch and talking to Tom. AJ and Penny are both wearing jeans and a red sweater. AJ and Penny are attractive couple sitting on the couch. What's the answer in the last one? What's the answer? The last one. The last one? The last one? Okay. Let's put them sand. Okay, excellent. Very good. Se sacaron 10 en este listening a la primera. O tuvieron que hacerlo dos o más veces. Then let's go to the next one. Complete the conversation. Complete the conversation. Use present perfect of the verse given in bracket. So let's start. And number one, have you do any good movie lately? And the verse is B. What is it? It's been. Have you been? Okay, been is the past participle of the verb be. Let's go with the, oh, yes, I have already three filled this month. Been. The verb is been. 
thin is the past participle of C, thank you. Let's see the second. Uh, he ever eaten Thai food before? And the verb is have, or the auxiliary in this case. Has. Has. Okay, has, has he ever eaten Thai food before? No, he has never. Had. Had, excellent. Oh, it has the second part. Read the sentences and choose the correct answer. I live in Boston. I love every minute I was there. Four. Five years, a period of time and we need four. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. Since 2001. Since 2001. Patrick has studied Portuguese. For, for a long time. He's a good speaker now. Let's see. Yeah, you were right. Perfect. And let's go with this one. Read the following sentence and choose the correct word. My brother in about at his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. In. My brother is in his 20s. Tracy does has or is. Short, has, straight, has, black has, hair, white. Has. Does? Has. Has. Okay, has. Their personal papers have. Phil's nephew is, has, what, five feet eight and has that brown beard and mustache. Is. The verb to be, you say, yes. And number four, has Martin ever missed, climbed, or lost? Missed. Okay. Missed an appointment. What is the meaning of this word? Appointment. Right. What? Can you please repeat? What? Mm, appointment. Es una... Como una cita, como... Una cita agendada. Okay, muy bien. Una cita. How many times have you lost your glasses, sports, or cell phone? Number cell five. phone. How many times have you lost your cell phone? Okay, great. Have you ever ridden, driving, or drunk? A truck. Driving. Okay, let's click on send and this. You are right. Congratulations. You got 10 in this part. And this one, we have already solved this one. Oh no. Eh, put the word in the correct order to make sentences or questions. Vamos a poner las palabras en el orden correcto para hacer oraciones o preguntas. So, we have the first one already done. And then we have where most nice have sun, that sunglasses end. It is a question, I guess. What is the answer? Do you remember the answer? I think it's that some wear glasses and have a mustache. Okay. Okay, can you please repeat? Does Sam wear glasses and okay, let's see. No, it wasn't correct. You put me. you put most touchy, I think. Oh, 
Oh, but that is the right answer. No, you put a, an extra O in most touch it, but it's most touchy. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm. Well, <laughs> that some wears glasses and have a mustache. Is it correct now? Yes, it is. And this one is number three. Red Cindy, height long, has and is medium hair. What is the right answer? This is the last one. I'm gonna help you with this. Cindy is medium height and has red hair. And this was the final exam. Was it easy or difficult for you? Estuvo fácil o difícil? En mi caso, en esa teacher, sí que di muchas vueltas. Me, me costó un poquito en esas, en la dos y en la tres. No, okay. en, la, en la cuatro y en la, en la uno. They were a little confusing, right? There are too many words yeah. here to order or to organize. Mm -hmm. so, but finally, you did it, right? I'm pretty sure that you did it. Okay, do you have any question about the final exam? This was the final exam. No questions? Okay, if you don't have any other question, um, today is our last class, right? Esta fue nuestra última clase. Uh, do you have any comment? Algún comentario? Thanks for everything, teacher. And I was a pleasure. You're welcome. Any other? Anyone? Nadie quiere decirles bye bye a sus compañeros. Let's listen, Alexis. Do you have any comment, Alexis, about this English course? Tell me. Y bueno, solamente agradecer por, por su tiempo, sus, sus buenas explicaciones y todo. Esperando que verlos a todos en, la siguiente, en el siguiente módulo. Solo una pregunta, ¿cómo cuánto se tardan en comenzar el siguiente módulo? Generalmente es una semana, just one week, Do, una o dos semanas. Ok. Eh, let's listen, Herton. Bueno, en mi caso, felicitar a todos y espero verlo en el siguiente módulo también. Y eh, tengo una pregunta, teacher. No sé si siempre lo tocaría con usted mismo o cambiaría de profesor en cada módulo. Eh, generalmente cambian de maestro, cambian de teacher. Ah, okay. Que le tocaría con otro teacher. Don't worry. Teacher. Okay, thank you, Herson and I. Thank you for your work. Okay, anybody? Crisia? Hello, Cristia. Hello. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to ask them. Fue un placer conocerlos. Gracias, teacher, por la paciencia que nos ha tenido. You're welcome. My pleasure. And Evelyn, do you have any comment, Evelyn? Eh, bueno, de mi parte, solamente gracias por eh, la tolerancia que he tenido. Y pues, primeramente, Dios, nos sigamos viendo en el siguiente módulo. Gracias. Thank you, Evelyn. Eulice, do you have some word for your classmate? 
Eh, gracias por, eh, la enseñ por enseñarnos el, el Present Perfect. Pienso que fue muy, muy bueno, muy, muy, buen, muy buen explicado. Y gracias a todos. Gracias a usted principalmente porque es una experiencia con cada coach y todos, somos, todos son diferentes. Nos llevamos una experiencia con cada uno diferente y, y pues eh, me llevo una buena experiencia de usted y se lo agradezco. Ok, thank you so much, Eulite. It has been a pleasure. The last one, anybody? A volunteer. Hello, teacher. Hello, Josman. Bueno, de mi parte agradecerle realmente a este módulo. Creo que he aprendido muchas cosas en lo, en lo personal, cosas que no sabía y sí, es muy claro de su parte. Eh, la gramática, el cómo poder pronunciar, hay cosas que mejor ir mejorando, ¿no? Como usted siempre dice, hay que, hay que practicar y pues agradecerle igual a seguir adelante, igual a los compañeros, pues aunque parezca difícil la cosa y que creo que no es suficiente la clase que buscar otras alternativas para seguir practicando y mejorando un poco en este idioma que es tan bonito, pero que dedica tiempo también, ¿verdad? Así que gracias y a seguir adelante. Thank you so much, Herman Hosman, for your work. Okay, it has been a pleasure to be with you guys. Um, it has been an honor to be your coach or your teacher or your, what was the other word? Uh, I forgot right now, so thank you so much. Uh, for your help, right? I really appreciate uh, your participation during these classes. And I hope that you continue learning this uh, beautiful language, as Hosman said. Uh, dedicate, right? Some time to practice, right? I wish the best. And bye bye. Enjoy Thank your you weekend. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Bye, good night. Good night, you sleep well. Bye bye.